Can you picture what a young Ben Kingsley looks like? What is the earliest Kingsley role you can think of? The average person would probably say, well, Gandhi was like early 80s, so I assume Kingsley started, say, late 70s slash early 80s? However, the great British actor had his film debut all the way back in 1972 in the brilliant thriller Fear is the Key, directed by Michael Touchner, who had just made Villain with Richard Burton the previous year. I don't know about you, but for me, already from the title, this film sounds really cool. The first time I ever heard of this film, I was immediately attracted to its title. Other very gripping titles I can think of off the top of my head are The Americanization of Emily, Oh Dad, Poor Dad, Mama's Hung You in the Closet and I'm Feeling So Sad, and Who is Harry Kellerman and Why is He Saying Those Terrible Things About Me. I love a gripping movie title, don't you? Anyway, Fear's the Key is an amazing film that really deserves rediscovery. It's based on the novel by Alistair MacLean, and instead of explaining what it's about, I'll just say that it's a thriller. This film is best watched not knowing what it's about, because it's a mystery, and it works best with you discovering what is actually the meaning of this particular film as it unfolds. When I first watched this film, I didn't understand what it was actually about, until the final scene, and when I finally understood it, I was like, wow, oh my god, that makes sense now. This movie is so awesome. Anyway, Fear is the Key stars Barry Newman from Vanishing Point. Susie Kendall, John Vernon, and Ben Kingsley in his film debut as Royale. So, why is Fear is the Key a film worth rediscovering? Well, firstly, because it has one of the greatest car chase scenes of all time. And hardly anybody talks about it. It's got Barry Newman, who just starred in perhaps the greatest car film of all time, being Richard Serafian's Vanishing Point. And now, the following year, he races in one absolutely amazing, almost 20-minute car chase scene, driving a 1972 Ford Gran Torino with Susie Kendall as the hostage passenger. Another great thing about this film is its script and the way the story plays out. As I mentioned earlier, you don't really get the point of the film until the very last scene in which Barry Newman explains everything. And what a powerful climactic scene. The film really pays off in the last scene. Also, it's got fantastic, exciting music by Roy Budd. Kingsley definitely gives the best performance in this film as the evil Royale. After you've watched Fear is the Key, the picture really shapes into a whole, and you realize what a good film it is. A great thriller with an amazing car chase. I definitely recommend this one. If you enjoyed this video, why don't you give us a like? And hey, maybe subscribe to get more content like this every week.